What's up guys, this is Troy from the Weber Kettle Club, and this is my daughter Renoa. Today we're gonna grill some cheesy beef logs. Hot burgers. Or hot burgers. Let's go. Our main ingredients are two pounds of ground beef and a block of cheddar cheese. Okay, so I use the chef's knife to cut the cheese, <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I, I season the meat with some Lipton's onion soup mix here, and uh, little Louis seasoned garlic salt with black pepper and a little bit of sriracha. What? Uh, nope, just kidding, that's ketchup. So I'm going to mix up the meat and then we're going to form some meat logs with some cheese. To make our cheesy stuff meat log, we're going to start with a big wad of meat. We're going to take a piece of cheese, we're going to kind of form a meat canoe here and put the, the cheese stick into it and just form form the meat around it. A little cocoon, a little cocoon of meat cheese happiness. I'm gonna work the the meat towards the end, just kind of pinch off any excess to save that for the next one to make sure we have enough meat to wrap all the cheeses. What the heck happened to yours? I don't know. What the heck? You mangled the meat log. It's important that you make the meat canoe. There you go. Shape it to the cheese. There you go. Now put put the cheese in its home. And then wrap the meat canoe around it. Oh, it's a little meat cocoon. Make sure you seal it up. Get the you can still see where the seam is. You don't want it to split at the seams and lose its cheesy filling. Hi camera. To make sure these things stay firm and don't fall apart on the grill, I'm going to throw them in the freezer for about five minutes. Okay, our cheesy meat logs are chilled. Our grill is hot. I have it set up for indirect over here. I've got a, a basket full of Kingsford Blue and a few big chunks of mesquite lump on top. i got a hot zone and a cool zone. I'm going to go ahead and put these on in the indirect side just so they can cook up. Once they're uh, once they're cooked up a little bit, we'll we'll move them over the hot side and uh, give them some color. Place them nicely. Be gentle with them. You don't want the cheese to go flying everywhere. Space them out nice and even. That one's thinner. You can put that one further back or not. That's cool too. Gently. Yeah, that's because you put them too far apart. That's okay. I'll, I'll risk myself. It's all right. That's what daddies are for. All right. The meat logs are on the grill, and they are going to be cooking. We're going to come back and check on these in not very long, probably like 10 minutes. All right, so it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. I came back a little bit too late. The cheese is already oozing out. Our heat, heat is a little bit too high, but let's go ahead and give these cheese logs some color anyway. Make sure it doesn't uh, fall apart here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What? We're doing the final scene. 
All right, our beefy cheese logs, our beefy cheese logs are done, and they are delicious. Mm. Where are you looking? You're looking at me in the camera. You're looking at my, my face on the screen. Look at the camera. Look at the right here. That dot. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right.